Do you find learning languages difficult? If you do, what are your mindsets when thinking of learning a language? Is that I have to remember a lot of vocabularies? I have to take an expensive class in order to acquire that language? Well, I'm about to share with you three simple mindsets that will help you learn a language a lot faster. Stay tuned. What's going on, bucks and those? This is Taiki, and welcome to Shishigo. I'm a native Japanese who loves animals, who loves nature. In this channel, I talk about Japanese stuff, psychological stuff,、um, environmental problems, and veganism and other related stuff. If you're interested in those things, please subscribe to join the herd and hit that bell. To stay tuned. I am aiming at 100 subscribers by the end of October, so it will mean a world to me if you subscribe. Thank you. Today's video is going to be about. Lang learning languages, and I'm on, and I want to share with you three mindsets that you should have to learn a language faster. Mindset number one: Don't be afraid of making mistake. Everyone makes a mistake, even when they're professionals or when they're advanced. That's human nature, and I even make mistakes in Japanese a lot. If you're a beginner, the frequency of mistakes is higher, but don't get discouraged. You have to understand that you will keep making mistakes even after you become fluent at. The language you're learning, and the only difference is that you will make less mistakes than you did in the past. I teach Japanese online, and there's a link in the description below. So if you want to learn Japanese with me, feel free to click it and book a lesson with me. So when I teach people Japanese, some of my students are like, "I can't say this phrase. I can't say. I can't. I can't pronounce this word even before saying a word." So how would we supposed? How are we supposed to know if they don't say the word in the first place, right? So they are truly afraid of making mistakes. Unless patients tell their symptoms to the doctor, the doctor will never be able to identify the illness you're having. Me personally, I made a lot of mistakes in、J、English and Japanese, and I was laughed at so many times because I made a lot of mistakes at that time, and I felt awful. But I kept going because I wanted to learn that language, and here I am. I'm. Speaking pretty okay in English, in my opinion. Mindset number two: Don't be afraid of disclosing yourself for help. Some of my students say, "I know what I'm saying," but usually when they say it, I don't know what they're saying. And it's completely okay that you can't pronounce some words because that's why you're learning. That's why you're paying for the lessons, right? Why do you go to the hospital if you're not sick? Don't let your pride block you from learning. Be willing to ask for help. If something is unclear, number three, have fun. Okay, this sounds lame, but unless you're having fun, you are less likely to continue. Personally, I hate reading textbooks. It's very boring. I don't know. I I don't. I don't want to learn how to say this apple is red. I want to know how to say. Would you like to have dinner with me? See, pick something you actually want to say specifically, so you will learn a lot of useful words for you. Originally, and at the same time, you're having fun. Also, I recommend picking a song or a movie in your target language because it will teach you the commonly used words and also how to pronounce. Especially for pronunciation, I think they can help you a lot. And for for me personally, listening to English songs and watching movies in English. Uh, helped me a lot, and、uh, what I additionally did was sing out the song or、uh, act it out in English, which is very fun. I've always loved singing. I've always loved acting. I'm not saying I'm good at good at those, but I enjoy it. I enjoy doing those, and I enjoy learning it through those activities. So with these three mindsets, I hope you can learn a lot faster and also have a positive vision about learning a language. I know it's it, it can be overwhelming if you、uh, see someone who's speaking very fluently in your target language, but most of the times they live in that country where the language is spoken. And if you're not living in the country, for example, if you're in the United States and if you want to learn Japanese, you're not you're not in in Japan. If you compare yourself with Someone who's who's who who lives in Japan, of course they're gonna beat you. It's it's a matter of experiences and it's a matter of、uh, long-term learning, right? But you have to look at language learning as a long-term, long-term thing. It's like language consists of many. 
tiny pieces, okay, like particles, um, articles, and other other uh, conjugated uh, some some of those things. They made up the language, okay. So it just even just small thing you learn in in a lesson is, is something that's very very priceless it's something that you have to be proud of okay so don't get discouraged i know it looks overwhelming but look at look at it as a long term okay and if you practice 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 the better 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 you get at okay now that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to join the herd and hit that bell to stay tuned if you want to see more of those language learning stuff and if you want to see more japanese stuff or uh, me speaking in French or other languages, please leave a comment down below and uh, I'll, I'll create those contents as well. And I will see you in the next one. Until next time.